So comparison operators are, I mean, generally, not generally, they're always part of uh, your uh, checking the condition statement. So, I mean, in the condition statement, there is some sort of condition operator. And you've probably seen all these before. Um, you have to use these most of the time when you're comparing in maths. Um, so equals to sign greater than greater than or equals to less than less than or equals to and not equals to so um, other than you know the greater than or equals to less than or equals to or not equals to you've probably seen all the other signs and they're pretty easy to understand what the symbols mean um, and so we'll generally use these for um, numbers like you can use all of these for numbers a numerical comparison uh, you can also use for for comparing like strings you can also use um, equals to or not equals to I mean it doesn't make sense to compare two strings whether this string is greater than that string because strings are mostly some words or letters right um, now when we are comparing strings whether they're equal or not we kind of have to be careful uh, because these I mean the program does exactly what it's told to do so suppose in the example 3 um, so we said that if state is not equals to uh, in quotes capital K capital Y then do something now I mean other than you know if the state is different like you know instead of Kentucky it's Georgia or something uh, there are other cases where this um, statement is true. Uh, suppose if you enter KY, both caps, and then space. So that's not equals to just KY because a space is another input. So and then, you know, um, it, this condition is true, even though you didn't mean it to be true. Um, it, these things are also very case sensitive case sensitive meaning that uh, if you if you swap any of those letters with a small uh, version of it like a small k or a small y or if the whole thing is in small then I mean this condition is again true even though you didn't want that to be true so you have to be very careful when you're comparing uh, strings and I mean you can also like write math expressions on either side of your comparison operators and they will still be evaluated so if uh, and they are evaluated from the left to the right and uh, the evaluation is done only after the arithmetic operators um, are solved so like if you have like you know on any side of your operators like we have to do multiplication division or addition subtraction on the numbers the program does that and then uh, after it get the results then compares one to another so I mean if you have an expression like 12 divided by 2 times 3 less than 7 plus 4 so that the computer will go ahead and divide 12 by 2 and multiply by 3 to get 18 and then add up 7 and 4 to get 11 and then it will um, figure out that you know the condition is false and then I mean if there is some set of statements associated with the false that will do that otherwise it I mean it just skips the program 